Hey everyone, it's Mario Time 1000, and welcome to my very first ever 1 24th scale unboxing video. Now, hopefully I'm wrong at this, but this might be my last ever Casey Mears unboxing. I don't think I've actually ever made a Casey Mears unboxing video. I have filmed one, but I don't think I ever uploaded it, so... Today, we are looking at the Darlington Throwback. Um, 2016 Darlington Throwback. Geico, Casey Mears. Darlington, obviously. And uh, I own this car in 164th. I'll show you the other sides. You can see 16. Just the Darlington logo. And then that, it says 1 of 505. I never actually saw a release. I follow a diecast Twitter page and I never saw this car get released. But I did find it at a flea market type thing at a car show. Not a NASCAR race like I normally find. You got a little piece of foam here. These come on like all the diecasts. I don't, I don't really know why it comes on the outside. It's the same foam as on the inside though. On the bottom we've got legal stuff, I assume. I'm not gonna take the time to read it all. And on the top, we have the Darlington logo again. So, let's get into this. The back of society open, yep. Making sure this is in camera. I've got a different setup. If you've ever watched my unboxing videos, this is what I used to use as a tripod. This track with some wax on it. But now I have a, still using a, a, a Galaxy S5, but I can put that on a tripod. So, getting it out here. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is a Smokey Eunuch throwback. This 13 car, very iconic. Congrats on your purchase. I've got a couple of these things now, but I've never actually... Um, I've never actually done anything with those. So, here is the case of foam. got some screws underneath top pieces is not it's uh, stuck on there by uh, some sort of futuristic component or tape as I'm seeing now and there is the die cast still trapped in its prison I'm gonna cut while I take these off Need a screwdriver. I didn't get one. I failed to get one of those. Oh shoot! Yeah, I'm back already because I don't know if you'll see that, but there's actually screws down there, so you actually have to unscrew. I think I actually was able. No, I think I think I actually unscrewed it. So now I will actually have to cut. I originally was just gonna cut the video, film it, but come back with the video. So. I will be right back. And just like that, we're back. These are the two pieces that you need to remove. And they make the most horrifying, horrifying sound ever. And now, the diecast is released from its diecast prison. And clear all the back. We can take a look closer look at it. It does. It looks really nice, actually. All right, you can now see the die cast up a little bit closer. I zoomed it in a bit, and uh, you can see it does look really, really good. Um, bring it up even closer here. The lighting isn't helping me, but you see uh, the front first of all. You've got the. Uh, uh, the bumper, it's got a silver. I'm pretty sure that's just to make it easier to um, make it look like the old uh, Chevy that Smokey Eunuch drove and that Daytona race where he like, greased up the bottom. We have the vintage contingencies for the most part. I think a few of them aren't there. And obviously the Sprint Cup logo doesn't have a vintage form. Got a few more. Geico and then Smokey Eunuch's garage. There's the back. The side is the same. Here's the front again. And as for the top, looks pretty much the same as, well, the thing number 13 is on the side. They changed that. I think I saw a few months before this car was actually revealed, someone posted on like a NASCAR 
Racing 20, 2003 website, uh, this throwback, but obviously it wasn't official. It was just a fantasy throwback, but it had the Casey Mears 13 on it. The bottom, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like my other Casey Mears diecast don't have black exhaust, but they they might. I do own this car in 164. Uh, I don't think I ever showed it off in a video. I filmed the video for it, but I never actually uploaded it because it sucked. You can see that this diecast is one of those post-2015 164s that don't have the turning wheels. Basically, you have to be a popular driver to get turning wheels. If you're not, you get this cheap sort of old old Lionel. I guess it was Winner's Circle. You get the old Winner's Circle 124th diecast that they used to sell in Target oh so long ago. Uh, 2009 is probably when they stopped doing that. I do have a 2009 Jeff Gordon from that era. Uh, so yeah, you don't really get a whole lot of details. No turning wheels. Obvious plastic rims. You can't really see in the light, but it's quite obviously plastic. You got the white Goodyear tires. It looks pretty nice. No rear door opening. Obviously not running the correct engine package. There is not a digital dash in this. You won't be able to see it at all because it looks, it's, yeah, it's not going to be in focus. Let's see if I can try to get it. You can see my fingerprints on it. It's not, no digital dash. I think they just added that this year in die cast, so we won't be seeing that on any Casey mirrors because, well, you probably know. Um, the hood does open. I do have a lot of trouble with the hoods after the 2015 really have to try to get them open. The roof flaps don't open. Ah, uh, here we are. Nope. Thought I got it. Alright, here we go. Opening hood. Engine. About as stock as it can get. I don't know if this is what actual engines look like. I feel like it's low detailed since it's just like a, plas a couple plastic pieces. Focus on that. This camera's actually been auto-focusing, which is very nice. Oh, that looks like shite. Yeah, I've got it. I've got my camera on a tripod with some rubber bands. So, yeah, it's not exactly the best, but there it is. The oh whoa, accidentally knocked it with my foot. The twenty sixteen. Casey Mears, Darlington throwback car, Smokey Eunuch throwback. I'm sorry the camera's moving so bad. I just want it to get in focus. Okay, so there it is, the, the Darlington throwback. Casey Mears first and hope and probably only, not hopefully, definitely not hopefully, probably only Darlington throwback for the Cup Series. It is a shame. Like I said earlier, this might be my last Casey Mears unboxing video because they might make an Xfinity 124th scale because they did do that with, a, they do do that every once in a while, but for whatever reason, I doubt it. Uh, 164th would be great, but I don't, I don't really care. I, I hope they make another diecast. If they do, I will buy it. If they don't, then that sucks. So there is the video. If you like the video, like it or dislike it, I don't care. Um, if you have any comments, I don't care. Uh, do something with that. And finally, be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers, which is pretty good. It's pretty good for a guy like me. No one will get that reference pretty much. Um, so yeah, if you guys would subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know. My channel's stuck in limbo right now. I don't want to make NASCAR videos, but it's what most of you guys want. Um, actually, I know what most of you guys want, and it has to do with a sponsor on this car. I almost don't even want to release this video now. And I'm, ugh. Well, uh, that's a thing, maybe, I don't know. Maybe Race 11 will come out sometime before 2018. Maybe it won't. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. 
If you guys have a diecast suggestion that you want me to review, post it in the comments. But I probably won't review it because... I don't have money. Plain and simple. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.